we tested the pH of not only water, we've done that many times, but of everyday drinks that you are putting in your body to check their acidity. We're about to break this down and show you exactly what would be more friendly for your gut, bacteria, your stomach, and your overall immune health, drink-wise. So, Dr. Living Good, Nurse Living Good, welcome in if you're just joining. We're gonna break down some drinks today. We got a lot of testing going on here. Yes. You did a lot of testing here. Yes. And let me preface this, pH. Yeah. Why does it matter? From a nurse, from a doctor's perspective, this is measured uh, in the urine traditionally and if you're when you go to the bathroom if it's really yellow chances are you're very acidic your body is offloading acidity as well as potentially sugars and other minerals that are inside of your system because you're not hydrated enough so we want to stay hydrated but a lot of this stuff doesn't count and in fact takes you the opposite direction when it comes to hydration now there is a scale zero super acidic over here no, yeah, this side. <laughs> 14, super alkaline. And you are right in the middle. It's supposed to be. So that is ideally where you, st you stay. Now, interestingly, and I have other resources and videos on this, why is this important? pH is tied directly into, in fact, years ago, and I've taught this a lot in our cancer seminars, Otto Warmberg won a Nobel Prize showing that the pH of a cell dictates its cancer risk and most cancers can't survive in an alkaline environment and that means also an oxygenated environment so this is tied to increased inflammation right. increased cancer risk decreased immunity and energy right. is massive on this it is not to say that you don't ever drink acidic drinks q drink because <laughs> coffee Slightly acidic, however, there's a major difference and we did not even have conventional coffee in the house to test it, but we tested organic coffee. And this is a little teaser for what's about to happen. If it was a dark colored liquid, we used a pH strip. Coffee came in at a six. Number seven is where middle of the road would be. You're gonna be slightly just above seven. Alkaline's gonna be that more eight, nine. If you go up to 10, it starts to be toxic. If you go below three, it starts to be really toxic. It's a scale of 100. So if you go from seven to six, excuse me, you, excuse me, it's a, it's a scale of 10. I said that wrong. You get 10 times 10 more acidic. Times, yes. If you go from a seven to a five, it's 100 times more acidic. Right. Let's yeah. try and get it. So it gets dicey quickly. But coffee, six, so slightly acidic if you're a coffee drinker, right? So we want to be doing things the rest of the day to counteract that. We're going to show you exactly how to do it. But let's go through what a lot of people put in. An interesting fact recently I learned that teeth issues, mm. gum issues, teeth issues, cavity issues are also strongly connected to the acidity in your body. Isn't that interesting? I didn't Huge. know that. I, so, I, I tried to concern with the teeth. Tell my kids it was brushing and a lot of times you're saying it's coming from the inside, inside of the body inside. is going to dictate the exactly. oral health. You almost became a dentist. I, 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 I well, wouldn't call it almost. I'm so thankful that you're a nurse. Pre-dental. So this is what we normally fill our body with. Let's start all the way down on this side. Okay. You got yourself some Gatorade. Glad the kiddos were able to find it. And lemon lime, I used to drink a lot of this stuff. I know, that's why I so got that one. Tested it, lemon lime Gatorade tipped the scales, the acidic scale, as the worst. It was a two, three. Two to three. Strips, yeah. When we tested on the strips, because it was colored, Wow, I used to drink a lot of this stuff. And there is minerals and salts in here. Um, however, very, very acidic. There is a natural flavor and a yellow number five, which is not helping all the sugar. There is acid put right in here as well. The reason I wouldn't drink it is way too much sugar. There are things with citric acid in them that your body can handle. You just gotta balance them back out. But that Gatorade is toxic because of those sugar levels and the toxins in it. Next, soda. If you can clean your battery <laughs> or your car with this stuff, if you can make it explode by dropping a Mentos in there, you imagine what it's doing. You probably should put that in your diet. Tip the scales at a three. So if you primarily, and there's probably a lot of men, um, females as well, but Gatorade, soda, really putting that on. Now, you wanna make a healthier conscious choice, you go to Zevia, which is your go-to from a food perspective. Sure, if you're, oh, outside of a soda? Correct. Yes. If you want a healthier version of it, because it'd be sweetened with Stevia, right. you're cutting out a lot of the sugars, you're cutting out way more of the chemicals. 
Still comes in at a three though from an acidity scale. So there's a lot of things to consider here, right? There's nutrient levels, there's toxic ingredients, there's acidity, there's just, so there's a few layers to this right. thing. So obviously this is gonna be the worst because acidity, but on top of that is the sugars and the chemicals they put inside of it. If you're going to clean up, you can Zevia. Reach for a Zevia. You're still gonna have the acidity in there, so you would definitely want to balance that out with something else, but at least you'll have those chemicals and toxins and sugars. So you still like the bubbles, maybe you could get away from soda altogether, and then you work your way up to carbonated waters. So we tested some of these, and these are definitely on the acidic side. Carbonated beverages typically are, if you deal with a lot of bloating, if you deal with SIBO or digestive issues, I would avoid these. Uh, so we just tested one that is uh, a little bit better as the quality of the ingredients and the natural flavorings, that's LaCroix. Came in as a five, so we're getting up there. It's definitely better than a soda if you just need something different than water. Okay. Then up next so was... The one thing I don't love about this, though, is the um, natural flavoring. They don't tell you where that natural flavoring is coming from. And so if you don't know that, oftentimes it cannot be, it can be a toxic flavoring. You can be okay with natural flavors. You just need the company to say, hey, this is a clean where source that doesn't from? contain anything artificial and synthetic. So then you would want to go to a source that doesn't have artificial flavoring. Spin drifts are sweetened with, or sorry, not sweetened, flavored with fruit juices. Real. And this is my favorite, real fruit juices. And you got the carbonation, which is still going to make it acidic. Uh, and this one's lemon. So interesting, I put this one here because lemon comes in as a three. Very acidic. When you metabolize it, it goes over a seven. So it's acidic on the outside, eat it, you get it in. So lemon would be actually something you could add to your water and you, when you metabolize it, it helps with weight loss. It helps with vitamins and minerals, especially vitamin C, several other vitamins. And then when you metabolize it, it makes your body more alkaline. So I love that one. Most people think lemons are acidic in general, and they are, but again, when you put it in the body, it turns your body alkaline. Middle of the road, uh, this is also a five, just your you know, Pellegrino, other sparkling waters. We wanted to test, it, test one without any kind of flavorings in it, still coming in about the same. Moving up the line here, uh, orange juice. Don't advise it, just in this little container right here. We're coming in at 39 carbohydrates, 31 grams of sugar. That is a sugar bomb that's not a health food and is also acidic. Comes in as a five as well. So not only are you getting a lot of sugar out of these four. things. Well, four I got one, sorry. We could have switched those around. I could have put that sorry. down here next to, <laughs> it's all right, next to soda. But a lot of people, you're thinking you're starting your morning with that, <coughs> excuse me. Maybe you're starting with some coffee. You're starting it with, you know, midday or mid-morning, a, a soda, and then you're moving to Gatorade. It's just acidic all day long, which you can handle some acidic, but you gotta counterbalance it at some point. And we have grass fed half and half. <coughs> Excuse me. That one came in at a six, seven. I was surprised I shouldn't have been, but. I wonder what, we didn't have conventional milk in the house. We just don't carry these things even. So if we are gonna have a half and half, uh, it is organic, it is grass fed. Came in at a six, seven. So you're, you're okay adding that to the coffee. You actually might've increased the uh, acidity of it a little bit, which is good. Then we go to water, right? And this is what primarily gets tested. Now for these, we were able to start using a indicator dropper, which is kind of like magic when you put it in. It's like you, you see, this is our normal tap water right here. You drink your tap water? We have a household filtration system that uses surface area filtration. So it leaves the minerals in, and it, uh, which is gonna help with the acidity. Uh, whereas like reverse osmosis takes it the other direction. Whole other video for a whole other time. Um, we have many videos on quality of water, but uh, how many drops did you actually do based on these milliliters? About five, six. So you can see it changing. Middle of the road, it's gonna be a light yellowish green color. So, yep, coming right in about a seven, 7.4. So that's tap water, that's what we're showering with, that's what we're drinking out of. Now, if you have city water, you're gonna start seeing it creep down to a five, a four. Simple dropper test, you don't have to run out and get one of these, that's why we're testing it for you, but that's what we were doing throughout this. So to counteract, one step would be to drink water that is just slightly above pH, or here's some other options. I selfishly wanted to test some of these because like, if we're traveling or whatnot, I will grab more of like a smart water or a Fiji. So I wanted to test some of these. Pure Life in the past had tested pretty decently. And then I wanted to test something that was supposed to be alkaline. So I grabbed some that were just pretty normal brands. Um, smart water came in at six, which doesn't seem as smart as the others on the scale. Is it true a lady tried to sue the company? I think it's Pepsi or Coke that actually makes this because it actually did make her smarter. 
I side bit. I've never heard that. But Coming in at six, what do you got next? Spring water spring traditionally water. is going to no, be no, on no. the better side. But This is pure life. Oh, it's purified water? Yes. Okay. That was a six as well. Yep. Then we get into the springs. Then Fiji was more like a seven. And then the spring water was seven, eight. Deer Park. Interesting. But it was the, I don't know if they make different types, but the spring water is the only one out of these that was natural spring. Out far as in it. And then all the way up. The essential is supposed to be a, a 9.5 or higher, it says. That and came it did in come a, in at yeah. a 9, 9.5. That purple. Yep. All the way up. So, plastic, whole other conversation. Um, the cleanliness of the water, other conversation. The cleanliness of the drinks in plastic, right? The different conversations. But just from a pH perspective, something to consider. Of course, you want something in glass, and of course, you want sugars out of it. We also want to be aware of pH and why it matters for your body, immune system, for your health. What can we do to counteract this? So just to end it, what do we put into our body to make sure we're going the proper direction? One thing you'd want to do, you could just make sure that everything else you're putting in your body, you're always thinking about the balance. So if you're going to eat acidic foods or acidic sugars and have acidic drinks, you have to have foods that are counterbalancing that. So things like obviously vegetables, greens, um, cucumbers, it's going to take it the other direction. Fruits, vegetables, balance. cucumbers is big on the list. You can yeah. add those to your water and such. Um, that's what we do. Yeah, we would, in, like you could infuse some of your waters with cucumbers, mints, herbs, whatnot. I use a greens, lemon, I use lemon. A greens powder. Uh, so that helps to drive the alkalinity up, very alkaline. When you're using the the water and making sure your water is clean yes spirulina corellas broccolis adding cucumber to your water great ways to make the body more alkaline it matters so it does start by rethinking your drink and then maybe add in some cucumber some lemon uh, or greens powder to it to slide it the right direction thought we'd test the everyday drinks so we can stay out of acidity if that was helpful comment below what you think and the drinks you have questions on and then also be sure to like and subscribe to follow along for more helpful videos like this to make health simple because you're the solution. <laughs>